hello friends myself purti and this video is going to be useful for the students who are preparing for neat and other competitive examinations in which biology is concerned in this video i have taken a topic over here that is the plant hormone and it is the part uh, first so let us continue let us see uh, what is hormones so hormones are the chemicals which is produced in one part of the uh, tissue and it exerts function on another part of the tissue so in the plants there are five hormones we will take it one by one the first one it is the uh, auxin okay so first of all so there are some contributions of the scientists we will discuss so first name of the scientist is darwin and darwin he found that the bending movement of the siloptile of the canary grass suppose this is the grass and this is the shoot tip and what is the siloptile uh, then uh, siloptile is a sheath protecting a young shoot tip in a grass okay so over here what is the experiment that is uh, the sunlight is coming in one direction this uh, tip this shoot tip is going to be bent in this direction in the direction of the sunlight so um, there is the contribution which you have to recall uh, that is the darwin and found that the bending movement of the siloptile of the canary grass then the next uh, contribution of the scientist is the bonds and jensen he found he found only that in this uh, tip this auxin is produced on the upper part on the shoot tip okay so in the next uh, uh, scientist name that is the vent in it is associated with the avena curvature's test he conducted a test in the avena plant and similarly the um, the shoot tip is going to be bent okay so then the next name of the scientist is the kogel and hagen smith and it termed auxins okay the the this is the most important uh, thing that who termed auxin the answer is a kogel and hagen uh, smith okay so the next thing is that the name of the auxin we now we know that is uh, auxin but what is, is the chemical name we should also know that is indole 3 acetic acid or iaa and what it is the precursor it is the tryptophan that is from the tryptophan this iaa is going to be synthesized synthesized okay and um, this tryptophan is a uh, amino acid okay this is a very important amino acid then this is very important question what is the precursor the answer is uh, tryptophan okay now we will talk about some natural and some synthetic auxins so some natural uh, first one we have seen that is the iaa uh, the other one are indole 3 acetaldehyde 4 chloro indole acetic acid indole acetonitrile and one more very important is that phenyl acetic acid so there is some elimination questions are there in which we have to recall this phenyl acetic acid because in this indole word is not there so this is some confusing word so phenol acetic acid it is also a type of auxin now we will talk about the synthetic auxins okay so over here we can see over here the name of the synthetic auxin is very important is that of the naa naphthalene acetic acid okay indole butyric acid and very important is that 2,4-D and 2,4-5-T what are they why it is so important because they are vd side we will uh, discuss in the functions also so what happened in the uh, vietnam war the usa usa used this uh, these chemicals that is the 24d and the 245 t okay as leaf defoliator okay so it is used as vd sites so we should know also its full form that is a 24 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid and the similarly here also 245 trichlorophenoxy acetic acid so 24 d and 245 t are the important uh, vd sites so let us talk about the auxins uh, functions so over here as i have said cell growth is the main important function okay just recall the bending 
okay then next is that of the cambial uh, activity it means that is the wood formation that is the formation of the xylem cells then next one is the apical dominance as you know what is apical dominance there are buds in a plant okay there are some lateral uh, buds and there is some apical bud so the growth of the lateral buds are going to be suppressed and the only the growth it is dominate as the name suggests dominance so the growth of the apical bud is going to be dominant so what happens in uh, auxin it promotes apical dominant very very important point then abscission what does it uh, mean that is a natural detachment of plants part of a plant typically dead leaves or ripe fruits okay so in short i want to say that it inhibits it rokta hai it inhibits abscission of leaves and fruits okay then uh, it uh, it influences the tropic movement what is that uh, that uh, growth or movement of a plant towards an any environmental stress uh, stimulus so first one is that of the phototrophic or geotrophic movement it shows very important rooting it promotes rooting okay now weed sites as i have discussed that it kills grasses 24d and 245t it is used for killing grasses then for storage it increases the life of the stored storage products then very important pre harvest fruit drop it prevents the pre harvest fruit drops okay then feminizing effect then tissue car formation then parthenocarpy it is very important that is used for the production of the seedless uh, fruits okay then uh, we will talk about uh, this next hormone that is the giblerins okay the short form is is the ga so the main uh, function is about the giblerins are uh, that is cell elongation okay of both leaves and stem so you should know that is the length it increases the cell elongation so in, it increases the internodes length okay so uh, it uh, again internodal length is increased okay then uh, the next question which uh, often comes over here is that um, what is the causative agent of the disease that is the bacchini that is a foolish seedling disease the answer is a fungus that is name is fusarium monoliform or the other name is that of the giblera fuji cori so you should know that the word bacchini disease or fusarium monoliform is associated with the giblerins okay now next uh, scientist name is important that is a yabuta coined it gave the term giblerin over here and the next thing is that important about its uh, functions so let us see its functions first of all and very important that it uh, helps in overcoming genetic dwarfism okay so it growth it promote growth it break dormancy what does it mean that is it uh, breaks uh, the resting period of the seed birds and underground substances so this is very important hormone that it breaks dorm dormancy then in the seed germination it helps it um, helps in uh, hydrolyzing the enzyme so potato sprouts one more question uh is there ki which hormone helps in sprouting of potatoes the answer is the giblerins then next one is that of the bolting what does it mean it uh, it is a premature production of flowering stem okay so flowering is going to be induced so bolting or elongation of stem in the rosette plants like uh, radish etc so it is uh, bolting is caused by this hormone okay this is important so long day plants okay so it promotes flowering again it promotes flowering in the long day plants again uh, and the next thing is that it uh, the next function is that the cold 
treatment what does it mean the vernalization it is a term and what does it mean that the cooling of a seed during germination in order to accelerate flowering when it is uh, planted so it is we can substitute by this hormone giblerine then again parthenocarpy it induces parthenocarpy okay so fruit yield is uh, increases fruit is, is also increase and the maleness characteristic also give the maleness characteristic so in the next part we will going to uh, continue about other hormones and let us see let us uh, revise over here what are the main things which we have to recall the first thing is the darwin contribution that is a bending movement of the siloptile of the canary grass the second thing who found that uh, um, tip produces a chemical the answer is the boysen and jensen the next question is that avena culture test is associated with which hormone the answer is hoxin and the scientist which is associated is uh, with this experiment is went and the next question is that of the who turn oxen the answer is kogel and hagen smith then uh, what is the name of chemical name of this oxen the answer is 3 indol indol 3 acetic uh, acid that is the iaa then you should know about the natural uh, oxens okay so answer is indol 3 acetaldehyde phenyl acetic acid 4 chloro indol acetic acid and indol 3 aceto nitrile then we will talk about the synthetic oxens we should know that is 24d and 245t are the um vd sites and then uh, naa okay so this is naphthalene acetic uh, acid now we will talk about this functions functions in cell growth then apical dominance then abscissence inhibit inhibition of abscess uh, abscission then um, it helps as uh, vd side then it promotes rooting then it uh, prevents the pre harvest fruit drop then parthenocarpy okay now we will talk about the giblerines so giblerines uh, in the in uh, main important question is about the cell elongation that is uh, overcoming genetic dwarfism okay breaking dormancy this is very very important seed germination is important then bacchanid disease is situated is caused by uh, fusarium monoli form then uh, again uh, bolting which is very important bolting over here it, uh, it promotes bolting long day plant flowering it promotes cold substitution of cold treatment parthenocarpy okay so in the next uh, video we will see we will continue and uh, please do like and share and subscribe it thank you